FN509. Yeah, these are uh, these are really really interesting. I think they're one of the best looking polymer handguns out there. Of course, that's very subjective. Um, you know, FN makes really good stuff, as do most manufacturers. You know, there's preference and preferences all over the place. You know, on on manufacturer, you know which one which one does what and stuff. But you know, FN is one of those. That is generally respected by most. Uh, not that they can't do bad stuff. They absolutely can. But most of their pistols have, over the years, been very good pistols. And, of course, you know, their, their military contracts and stuff. I don't think anything's disputed about the quality of that. But uh, when I first seen this gun, I have to tell you, I was like, wow, man, that is a, a nice-looking gun. Uh, you know... There's nothing that, that sticks out on it above most of the other polymer pistols. I mean, it, it's a polymer 9mm. I think whichever one you choose, um, you know, as, as long as it's a quality handgun, meaning, you know, Smith & Wesson or the Berettas or the SIGs, you know, CZ, FN, Glock, uh, whichever one you choose is going to be good. It's, it's going to do you do you well um, yeah, I think a lot of this even though some guys won't admit it I think a lot of it does come down to cosmetics um, and, and that you know not for everybody but for for a lot of people it comes down to cosmetics um, and feel feel is a big thing you know how does how does a gun feel in your hand uh, this one feels really good uh, it's got two different back straps uh, usually I like the smaller one but this one is actually the little, little bit bigger one. I think it comes with two. This one's actually a little bit bigger one. The other one is is um, just flat. This one feels better. Uh, the grip on it looks really good. I really like the way the grip looks. The FN logo. The magazine release feels good. Just a, a solid, solid gun. Solid choice. You know, they've, I, I believe they got a pretty good reputation. Uh, these sights on here are actually really, really nice sights. They're uh, luminescent, and when you hit them with a little bit of light, they glow big time. I mean, I really like these sights. Um, they're not going anywhere. I wouldn't change these sights. Um, you know, that's your mileage may vary. I've said in other videos I'm not a big fan of night sights, even though I have... Uh, most of my semi-auto pistols have night sights. I, I wouldn't get rid of these. Um, you know, not that you can't. There's plenty of options out there. Um, one thing I, I would say, though, you know, to try to keep this video as short as possible, because everything is is good on the gun. Everything is is fantastic. Like I said, it's just a, it's a it's an excellent looking gun, and I got the other 509. I think it's the 509 C, where it's just a little bit shorter. Holds 15. Uh, I think everything that I'm going to say in this video will echo to that one. Um, you know, it just comes down to, you know, how big of a grip do you want. Um, you know, if you're concealed carry this gun, I, I would probably choose the other one just for the simple fact that the grip is one of the most important things on how big it is. Um, you know, the, you know, a lot of the statistics and, you know, the, the um, uh, measurements and stuff, weight, and, you know, you prior to, you know, all that. It's just, uh, I get bored when somebody starts talking about weight and stuff. Uh, you know, in hand, right now, it's fully loaded except for one in the the chamber. It, it feels good. Uh, you can definitely feel it, but it, it feels good. It doesn't feel too heavy. Um, you know, if you want a lighter gun, go with something with less capacity, something single stack. Uh, this gun is actually pretty thin. Um, just visually looking at it, doesn't look overly thick to me. And there's guys out there to get their calipers out and measure it and stuff. That again, that doesn't do much for me. Um, you know, the the texturing on the grip is pretty good. It's nothing fantastic, but it, it's 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 not too bad. Like I said, I think it looks really good. I think it looks awesome. Some of the best checkering as far as visual 
uh, on a on a polymer handgun this stuff on the side just looks really good this right here is not too bad uh, the trigger on this is the reset on it how, how far um, how much force that spring has on the reset um, I would say that's my only complaint about the gun um, it, it feels like it should have a little bit more oomph behind it not that it's bad it's not bad it just feels like it should have, they should have put an extra power spring and they may have that may have been I think I've heard other people complain about that too it just um, when you let up off the trigger it just doesn't feel like it's got enough force you know, especially compared to a Glock I'm not a huge fan of Glocks um, not that there's anything wrong with them it's just visual and feel you know the feel of it I, I don't like the looks of them that much and I don't like the feel of them as far as how they shoot and stuff which is really what counts uh, they're they're fantastic I can shoot them just fine um, but definitely you know comparing it to a, a Glock that I had to, to this one the Glock felt much better on the reset not that the reset is bad on this you know like the the feeling of you know the click the audible and, and tactile click that's that's not what I'm talking about I'm just talking about the the force of it um you know i don't shoot the reset i don't think most people do you know it's more of a competition thing it's over a little overrated you know um <laughs> i guess that's a discussion for a different video but that that'd be about my only complaint on this gun let's uh see i got this magazine loaded hold 17 which is good magazines are nice got this little bump right here and that's that's how it's am ambi it's got an ambi um magazine release and that's that's how they do it instead of having a a notch on the magazine on both sides it's probably a little more cost effective to just put one thing in the middle that way regardless of what side you push it on uh you don't have to re reverse the magazine catch or anything so that's kind of cool um got it and be uh, slide stop, slide release, whichever one, whichever one you want to call it. Um, the Smith and Wesson M and P's slide release is is something to be. Um, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. Let's just put it that way. On the Smith and Wesson M and P's, I actually had to take mine off and take a file to it and, and file it down a little bit because you could not use it. I mean, it just did. It's too much of a um, too much metal there, you know, and it's got like a little bitty milling lip there, and and when you hit it, it's just it just doesn't work that good. This one works fine, and I've heard that on a lot of M and P's. So if you got an M and P, might be something you want to do is just take some even some sandpaper to the, to where it locks up on the the slide, not on the slide, but actually on the slide release, and knock that down with a file or try some sandpaper at first. Uh, even some oil on there um, can can help that. This one, this one's fine though. Um, you know, overall the gun's great. It's highly recommended. Um, you know, FN quality. You know, is to say that they they shoot great. I really like the sights. You know, FN FN barrels. You know, I love FN guns. <laughs> I love this FN gun. Like in the video game. <laughs> First time I heard it, that uh, cracked me up. I love the stuff and gun. But, yeah. Not a whole whole lot to say about it other than it's just a, you know, it's just a, a good choice. Just like most of them are. You choose this one or, or you know, a different one. Um, it's completely up to you. Here's a little comparison of the Beretta 92. You can see it's a much shorter gun by quite a bit by quite a bit even in the handle it's uh, about, about the same in the handle um, much smaller now, brothers are, are big guns brothers are very big guns I don't think anybody's gonna argue with that a brother that you know that it's that it's a small gun it's it's not but it, this this gun doesn't look that small short I should say until you put it up to the brother you know then you see you know, it's it's quite a bit shorter. Quite a bit. Um, you know, which one the the fifteen round one or the seventeen round one? That's that's up to you. I kind of like the seventeen. Uh, why not two more? 
uh, you know, maybe, like I said, maybe if you're concealed carrying it, you may want to go down to the to the compact one. And I, I think they're coming out with the subcompacts too. Those may be pretty cool. Maybe something you want to look at. Uh, completely up to you. Yeah, I recommend it. Obviously, I bought this one. This is this is my gun. As all these guns you'll see are my guns. Um, I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't like it. I think it's a good looking polymer gun. A lot of polymer guns just don't turn me on because I, they're just ugly. They're just not as good looking as as these. I, I think some guys, especially older guys, kind of feel that way about polymer guns. Uh, I think this one, the slide, is done excellent, excellently. Just looks good. This this cut right here, and then that FN logo just looks amazing. Amazing. So yeah. Anyways, uh, recommend it. If you can get your hands on one, I say pull the trigger on it. I don't think you'd be disappointed. And if if you don't like it, um, you know you can get rid of it. Maybe not quite as easy as a Glock, but somebody would be willing to take it. So, anyways, yeah. I hope you liked it. Uh, hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the gun. If you like it, grab it. Thanks.